Hey, g'day guys. It's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. I do a heap of 1UZ wiring and conversions, conversion related work. And every now and again, I work on a normal standard Lexus. Not very often, but it's all the same stuff to me anyway. This particular car came in and I had a chat with the customer a couple of months ago and we discussed the repair. This is going to be quite a big repair. Could be termed a journey. Uh, so I'm not going to go through right now and itemize everything. We're just gonna get into the job and uh, show you some stuff as we go along. I'm also gonna break the job down into several components. And the, the basic plan at the moment, though plans can change, Cam belt, water pump, tensioners, sort air leaks on the intake. I know there's a power steer pump that's leaking. We're gonna check the tappets, 425,000 Ks, never been done. So we'll check that. And I'm gonna give the wiring loom a refresh. I'm pretty confident I've got all the plugs except for one which I haven't been able to apprehend anywhere. So I'll have to come up with a solution for that. So that's the basic job, one, two, three. Already done the ECU repair. And I've just checked the fuel flow and fuel pressures. So let's get into this job and uh, get things underway. <laughs> I think we need to work on keeping that oil on the inside. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Where do you reckon from where though? Up. Up. Tabit, tabit covers. It's had tappet cover leaks in the past. Oh shit, that's absolutely. It's had tappet covers. Well, and... It's been there for a while though. Shit. Yeah, but it's still it's still wet and dripping. Do you want wet and dripping? Should have we taken that under the water blaster and give it a just about right? Because that's just. It's yucky. It's very yucky. <laughs> has had a few running problems that the customer has been looking for, trying to find, had it to different mechanics. Uh, one thing we found quite early on was the, uh, the computer. We had a cap that had stuffed out. So this one here, that's gunge all over the board. Let's see what else we've got in here. Cam angle sensor plug tied up in here. Cam angle sensor, that's actually on the factory clip, that one's okay. But if we go down here, look, look down in here. Oh, I'm gonna get a close up. What's going on? Right there, something's been rowing. And down here, I think that's just through the conduit. That one's through wires. Power steer pump, looks like that. Yeah, not the best. Fluid running down this power steer hose, so I'm hoping it's just because of the power steer pump leaking. You'll notice this. This is normally connected via the idle up valve. Well, we've only got one hose. Right, back into it. Oh, wait. Oxygen sensors are out. And I've Disconnected the EGR hose pipe down on the manifold on the right hand side. Right, let's get this thing to bits.
Some days, life really wants to challenge me. It challenges everyone. So I've been popping this apart, of course, and it's been coming apart pretty well. Alternator plug, it just destroyed itself. Well, since I touched it, it's just brittle, fell to pieces. Uh, the, the cover on the right-hand side for the front of the engine came down here and then right here there's normally a the bolt goes through the cover well it's broken so hopefully I've got another one of those covers coil popped off okay bolt for the coils back in here that's a whole lot of fun to get to and then aircon pump just sits out of the way uh, the bottom the two of the bolts you get from the bottom so that was easy and we're looking pretty good here. I'm feeling pretty happy. And then we get down here. Let's have a look here. We have a wheel. We have a wheel here. Wheel there. Now we've got no oil down the side. No oil down the side. But we've got oil right in the middle. And what's right in the middle is the oil pump. There's an O-ring, right there. You'll also notice there's oil all over this engine. It's a whole heap of fun. One little O-ring. Just decided to make my life a lot more difficult. And I don't have one in stock. Oh, I've normally got everything in stock. I happen to have, today, a brand spanking new oil pump, but it doesn't have the O-ring. Oh, I've got a sump set. I've got this crazy ass bottom end set, aftermarket bottom end set, and that may have an O-ring in it. It's even got a sump gasket, which these don't run a sump gasket standard. Let's go have a look at that. I'll have a look at the oil pump first. There we have brand new oil pump. If you want the part number, there's a part number for it. Doesn't have the front seal in it. comes out here to the oil filter housing and you can see there's a gallery it runs up here to there and that is what I'm looking at that there is where the oil is I was going to attempt to tidy up this wiring loom in place because that's how guys at home would do them nah that ain't going to happen now so this motor is going to come out it's going to drop on the floor, which means I'll clean it a bit better. I'll give it a tidy up, fix the wiring loom, put it back together, shove it back in the hole. So it looks like I've got a bit more work ahead of me. I better stop gas bagging and pull this motor out. Engine, pull this engine out. Here we are in the cabin. Here's your wiring loom that comes into the ECU. We're going to pop the plugs off. Come on, as you come. And this one. And this whole loom then is going to feed up through the hole through the firewall. Hopefully. <laughs> hope, hope, hopefully. Through here. A little bit of a trick. Steering wheel tape straight. That way, the steering wheel stays straight. I'm dropping the steering rack out of this. Undoing the shaft, it's going out with the engine. That way I get my alignment on the shaft correct again, correct again. Of course we do a wheel alignment when we're finished, but get it as close as we can. Uh, yep, shock's undone. Steering, steering, past steer's done. Steering shaft. Drive shaft. Trans linkage. Gearbox mount, almost. Exhaust. That's a good thing. 
I knew there was a leak too. Look at that. There was a leak there. One, two, there. Did it go? Suspension. No, I think it's good. Yeah. Bottom ball joints. Yeah, it's good. Earth. Fuse box at the top. We're good. I just have to put it in exactly the same place when I put it back in. Yeah, and put it exactly on the same tray in exactly the same place in every sense. You string line. You drop the string lines down. So you do a mental note and you, and you string line it. Before I work on it, I'm going to clean it. I don't think I can handle working on it when it's that dirty. I need bigger lifting equipment. Seems the motor fell out. Look how thick this thing is in with oil. Here's our oil leak in here. From the oil pump. So this is really good pre prevention. These mounts aren't designed to be lifted so it's just sitting down they're undone we're going to get the big lifting equipment and we're going to pop that off i've disconnected the loom the start loom off it and the alternator loom that's that's separate now don't forget to unplug the oil pressure uh yeah they, it will break and we'll go through identifying leaks I'm not sure about this gearbox leak, but I think it's been coming from the back here. And you, you'll notice here, see this plug? This is what it's meant to look like. That's what it looks like. So that's not ideal. And this cover's all broken. And I'm not sure I have another sacrificial cover that I can use. So we'll see what I've got. Better block that off before I hit it with water. Right. Let's get the big gear. Lift it and clean it. Not all workshops have got a tractor, but they're bloody handy. So the engine's clean, but me, not so much. It's cold, I'm wet, but the motor's looking fantastic.